I just threw my potato on the ground. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Shimon and Lani. My name is AJ and we are back on another episode of Let's Build. I uh, know it's not Let's Build, of Zonocraft. <laughs> Season 2, episode 107. I've done a little bit of work. If I head up the stairs, ta -da, I've put all the spruce in where the spruce is going to go. As you can see, it's huge. It's really, really big. And... I had to change the corners, okay? Now, this might confuse a couple of you, but I'm going to try and explain it. Uh, if I take this away, because originally we just had this pole here, and then the edge would then run off this block, okay? And would go down that way, so the edge would be on this level. Well, I came across a problem when it came to this side. As you can see, the sandstone is now in line with the spruce, but on here, it's not. So what we've got to do to sort of get around that problem is put two on the edge. And now the sandstone is in the right area because then the sandstone will obviously go here. If I just put it down very quickly. That's chiseled. Have I got any? Yeah, I've got some more one. I've got loads of sandstone in the chest. <laughs> I need to grab some more. We're not going to have anywhere near enough. Uh, but that goes like this, obviously. Ha, ha. And there. And now it's in line again, if you know what I mean. It's tricky to sort of try and wrap your head around, but once you've once you've got to, once you understand it, it's pretty simple. And then if we head up the stairs, um, I had to do the same on this corner as well. Luckily, it didn't throw off any of the spacing. The spacing is still perfect, which I'm the happiest bunny in the world about. I also grabbed some uh, some smooth stone slabs to put on the edge here. I think this will really like just top that staircase off. We're going to have a staircase on all four sides. Ow. A stupid cactus. Yeah, that looks good. I really do like that. So, we're going to work on the next level today. And I do have a pretty good idea on how we want this one to go. So, obviously, we need a three... Well, we need a 3x3 three three area, which is going to mean it's going to require removing this slab here, okay, to give us three blocks. Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. It might not be as simple. Unless we go like that, and then uh, like this. This could work out okay. And then this will give us our 3x3. Three three. Let's go all the way across the top. Just check that is 3x3. Three three. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way across and then realise. Oh, is it really night time? Oh, I timed that terribly, didn't I? Alright, looks like... Well, I don't actually I don't want to work through the night in the desert. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Usually it wouldn't be a problem. But in this case, it sort of will be. I don't want... I don't want to blow all this up, especially seeing as though sandstone has a awful blast uh, <laughs> blast resistance. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to do something that you should never do when, uh, when playing Minecraft. I'm actually going to grab my bed and bring it over. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't like doing that. It's always a risky thing to do, isn't it? You, don't, you never know, creepers might blow up the bed. And then I'm going to spawn God knows where. I'll spawn miles away, probably. In fact, I think I will spawn at the original spawn point on this map, which is in a snow biome, but unfortunately not this snow biome. It'll be in that direction, I think it is. It's the original spawn point. Hello, phone. Oh, man, look at all these mobs. I'm so glad I didn't work through all that. We've had... So so much terrible luck with creepers. This damn autosave with creepers recently that I don't really want to push my luck. Are you finished autosaving? Thank you. Messing up my redstone timings. Right. So, yeah. Three by three in the middle. The logs will go nicely below and above it. Um, I didn't foresee that slab problem, but that doesn't really matter too much. I should really get a railway going over there, shouldn't I? You should be friendly. You're not going to be friendly. Get out of here. And get out of here. <laughs> I don't need zombie flesh. I don't need XP. I've been trying. I've been sleeping away. That's the first time that I've actually been long enough out in the darkness that a lot of mobs spawned. 
um, you know, off camera while I was building the rest of the framework. Let me get comfy. Only, um, only like a few zombies and stuff spawned and I just ran past them. I never really attacked them. I don't like attacking mobs. <laughs> I'd rather, rather them not be there. I like them for the mob trap, which, by the way, guys, is, uh, is actually working. Uh, it took, it takes a little while to warm up. I've started to light up the surrounding area on the ground around it. And in a few cave systems, each torch I put down increases the efficiency of the farm. It it just is still taking a little while to warm up. It's taken probably around 10 minutes or so to get to its sort of full power, if you like, where mobs are falling. I suppose I, they fall at a rough amount of, let's say, um, one every two seconds, which isn't great. It's not terrible. So, like, you'll get one full, one, two, another one full, one, two, another one full. Sort of about that at the moment. I would love it to be, do, 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 do you know what I mean? Constantly falling. Uh, that's going to require an awful lot of lighting up. Uh, to do so though. Okay, so this one on this level, right? We're gonna put this sandstone in and again, we're gonna try two different ones We're gonna try The sort of same tactics as what we've done down there But I think I might like the other way better. So this is the way that I think I'll prefer Like that with potentially I would really like in the middle uh, A nice little creeper head in the middle. Not that you can really see it that much, but we know they're there. Okay, so that's option A. Option B is a little bit more work because we're doing the same sort of thing as what we've done on the first level where it's actually set one block back. I might end up preferring it. I don't know yet. And then we grab the spruce, put those in the corners, replace this it breaks so stupidly quickly. Uh, no, not the creeper one. I want the normal one. Sandstone. There. And there. So that's the other option. Which one do I prefer? You know, <laughs> I prefer this one again. What if we put down a slab there and there? You know, I sort of like that. It makes it look a little bit more squished. Doesn't it? It doesn't look like a 3x3. Three three. That's the only trouble. I, Yeah, no, we're going to keep with that. We're going to keep with that. So that's how the next layer is going to go. Along all of them. Let's collect all of this up. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Okay. So that's going to go on all of those. This staircase is going to continue up. So we're going to grab, grab this sandstone here. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's all going to be hidden anyway like this and like that <laughs> That was such a, a backwards way of doing things wasn't it, but the stairs have lined up really perfectly We've been so lucky on dimensions throughout this whole build. It's been ridiculous really how lucky we've been but I'm not going to complain so when you go up these stairs, you can't actually come off, or you're not meant to walk off the edge here because we're going to have cobblestone uh, that will fill up all the entire edge. Like, there won't be the gap down there. It'll all be cobblestone. I'll fill that in in a minute so I can show you what I mean by that. Uh, but then if you want to actually get onto the sides, onto these walkways here, then you'll have to come out on doors that we'll put on here. Like, maybe that one can be a door. And that one can be a door, and then those two will be normal ones. Or maybe the middle one, <laughs> typically the one that we've done there, could be a door. Uh, no, I like the ones closest. So that will be a door, that will be a door, and then the same there and there, there and there, there and there. So we'll have like eight doors uh, on either side, at least for this level to get in. Yeah, and that works out well. But then you're not going to actually be able to see down the sides here, because we will hide all of it up like that. Okay? You see what I mean? I'm pretty sure you see what I mean. So now we've got that level, let's come up here, oh, let me get comfy, let's get up here, and again, we're going to want to, ah, okay, so we've got another problem here, well, 
we could do the same thing as we done last time. I got my pickaxe. If I take those three out, put a slab there like we did last time, and then that allows us to put that there. What does that look like? That works. That works. What if then I take these out and replace these with these? Like that. Yeah. I like that. That looks like a circle now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then that and now allows us at the top here to put slabs just directly uh, on top. Same as that level. Perfect. We don't have to do any fancy <laughs> like block height conversions and steps and <laughs> things like that. It gets really complicated if you don't if you don't keep things simple. Right. Quote of the day, that is it gets really complicated if you don't keep things simple. AJ, 2015. What a quote. <laughs> I have a quote uh, pinned up on my wall. If you guys um, are a new subscriber, then I actually have a wall of um, art that you guys have made. And it, it's pinned up my wall right in front of me. It's all, all nicely coloured. I've got a nice, nice coloured card behind it. And everything that I get sent in through Facebook or Twitter... Uh, gets printed off and gets stuck on the wall and uh, there's a quote on there. Let me get it there. Here it is right Quote says uh, I was with Lion Maker at the time of saying this and uh, Basically the story behind it. Not many people know but the story behind it is I was in a Skype call with Lion and He was talking about me and Didn't realize that he was talking to me. It was like a lapse in concentration. I think for him so he wasn't saying anything bad. Like, it wasn't like he was bad-mouthing me or anything like that. But he, he, I was in a scuffle. It was only me and him in the call. And he said something like, Oh, have you seen what AJ's been doing lately? And I was like, no, what's that? <laughs> like, like, I was a little bit confused. And he said, oh, he's been doing this, um... I don't know what it was at the time. Maybe the theme park. I think it was when the theme park sort of first started. Or maybe we were like seven or eight episodes in. And he said, yeah, he's, he's, he started this theme park or something like that. And I said, Lion? He said, yes. And I said, don't talk behind my back straight to my face. <laughs> and that was the quote. Don't talk behind my back straight to my face. Anyway, Lion really laughed because he then realized that he was talking about me to me. So uh, he got a little bit embarrassed, uh, laughed it off. Like, obviously, it was, didn't, didn't really bother me at all. It wasn't like he was... If he was bad mouthing me, then I would have probably had a problem. Oh, have you seen that AJ guy? Oh yeah, he's building this uh, awful theme park. I don't know why he's doing that. Then I would have maybe had a problem, but <laughs> it was a, uh, it was just a lapse in concentration is all I can think it would have been. And uh, and yeah, I did find it quite funny. So uh, Lion then tweeted out that quote. He 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 put out a tweet of uh, "Don't talk behind my back." straight to my face and uh, one of you guys I don't know your name you didn't put your name on the fan art unfortunately uh, but they uh, like made a little quote thing with like my avatar in space uh, and it's really cool uh, I really like it that's probably one of my favorite ones I need to somehow get a log facing upside down under there so this is the third level this is this level which is according to our mini version here According to our mini version, can I reach that? I wonder if I can reach that from down here. Not that I'm going to be able to do that on all of them. There we go. Um, this is the bottom level. This is the level with the 3x3 three three that we've just done. And then this level is technically, according to our mini version, the top level. Now, we might keep it as the top level. It is going to be an incredibly large top level if we do, though. As you can see, actually... Hmm, yeah, it is a little bit large, isn't it? Yeah, this... Um... Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It might work out to be about right, you know. So on this level, I think what we want to do is have another 3x3. Three three. That's going to have to be like that. Like that. Like that. There's an awful lot of off-camera work to do on this build. Um... Just it's just very repetitive, isn't it? Doing all the windows and stuff like that. Ah, 
Okay. We have now come across ye age old... No, we haven't. Maybe we have. Have we come across ye age old problem of Minecraft? That's got to go like that. Ish. I know I've got to turn. I know I've got to turn those bottom blocks. Don't don't worry about that. So that gives us three wide down there, and that's in line. For some reason, I think I haven't done it on this side, have I? No, I haven't. Um, this needs to go. I did place this wrong in the end. The only one that I placed down, and it's wrong. Like that, like that. Ooh, crouch. Whew, that was close. Then that goes there. And then the three-way path starts that way again. Okay, and that just means we've just got to move this over. So again, we're going with three wide, seeing as though the numbers just seem to be working out for us right from the start. But what pattern should we do on this level? That is something I'm unsure about. Whoops. So we've got an arch on the bottom floor. I might put creeper heads in the middle of those as well, you know. We've got round on the second. On the top. I wonder if we do like something like a star. Oh, you know what? I do like that. The logs being straight underneath. Not only does it save me a lot of time of going underneath the blocks. But it looks good. As well. And then that's one, two, three. And then that'll go like this. Take that one away. Oh no, that did need to be. Um, yeah, that needed to be there. Oh no, and I can't. Huh, Paco. Get that there. That there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry about the dark. I'm not going to run all the way back just to sleep away the the night again. We are 17 minutes in. How on earth does this series go so quickly? It's ridiculous. It must be because it's survival. I'm so used to building in creative. Um, mind you, we haven't really spent too much time. We haven't wasted too much time. All of the time that we've spent uh, this episode has been building. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. And then parkour skills. Again. <gasps> nope. Uh, parkour skills. Parkour skills. No. Parkour. Ugh. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> I'm getting better. That practice room has really been paying off. Okay, and then this one has to go away. That one goes up there. Right, so now we've got our our height in. We put these pillars in super quickly. Whoops. I jumped up there. And there. Wonderful. Okay, so here I'm thinking a, a cross. So we've got arch, we've got circle, and then we've got cross. So I think what we want to do is we're going to start off with our sandstone again. Whoops. With our sandstone. We might end up swapping it out. We know definitely the top has to be that. So if we keep it under that, we'll be fine. And then let's put sandstone on the side here. And on the side here for the moment. And then has to be on the back as well. Jump. Jump. <laughs> Why I play so wrong? <laughs> okay, so we've got our our back. Now for the cross, what about if we'd done something like this, this. And then it would be so cool if we could have like the stairs the other way. But we can't. So... What have we done? That's pretty cool. Or that. Oh, I do like that. And then the creeper face goes in the middle. Oh, I do like that. I like that a lot, actually. Because then we've got three completely different ones on each level. Let's go over here and pillar up. Get away from me, spider. Are you going to climb all the way? No, I didn't think so. There's a creeper down there as well. So yeah, we've got the arch, which we've got to put a creeper head in the middle of still. Oops, I hit my mic. And then we've got the round, which looks sick. And then we've got that one. Yeah, and then that's pretty well scaled. I think on the top then, we'll be all flat. Apart from in the middle, we'll have like, whoops, another like uh, room on top that's open that you can walk through. 
with just like the corners holding it up or something like that. That's pretty sick. All right, guys. Well, I know it's a little bit. Well, it's actually not that short. It's <laughs> over 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to leave the episode there, though, guys. Hopefully between this and next episode. Ah, run away. <laughs> no, run away. Hopefully between this and next episode, I'll actually get in um, a load of work and get a lot of the, um, the middles filled in. Get out of here. I know there's a witch behind me as well. Witch over there. Um, let's go take on the witch. But yeah, we're going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Missed me. And we shall see you in the next episode. Sugar. Bye.